Here, the Prime Minister has applauded the killing, as has one of her predecessors, John Howard. And although al-Qaeda's been rattled, the government's reminding people to remain vigilant against any reprisals. Political correspondent Greg Jennett. When the SAS led what would become the nation's first wave of 1,500 troops into war, their Prime Minister spelt out the mission. It's going very well. What is it designed to achieve? Uh, the uh, capture and bringing to justice of bin Laden. The mission expanded. Along the way, 168 Australians have been wounded, 23 have died. Now, just over nine and a half years later... The top evil man has been taken out. ...comes a belated sense of relief. I don't know how long I thought it would take. Uh, I just hope that it would happen, and I am uh, very pleased that it's happened. Word reached the current Prime Minister in a Cabinet meeting. I welcome the death of Osama bin Laden. I welcome this news. She warns that although al-Qaeda's been weakened, it's far from finished. It's a leader is gone, but al-Qaeda still poses dangers for Australians. Domestic security alert levels haven't been lifted, but a general travel warning's gone out to Australians to be careful of anti-Western violence abroad. Beyond the threat of reprisals, the question is, what bearing will the killing have on the war itself? Perhaps none directly, but after heavy morale-sapping losses, a psychological lift for coalition forces would go a very long way as the war turns into its second decade. For the Greens, it's proof positive of mission accomplished. This event heightens the Greens' call to uh, bring Australia's troops home from Afghanistan. This is a day when we can afford for a day to be elated, but tomorrow we get back to the war. Former General Jim Molan thinks it might give the US the resolve it needs, just as the President decides whether to draw down troop numbers. Australia's bipartisan resolve isn't in question. We will continue the mission in Afghanistan. This is not an unwinnable war. But nor is it yet won. Greg